A remarkable Security Council report circulating in the Kremlin states that President Putin became enraged, infuriated earlier today after learning that the Obama regime has broken for the first time in American history the 1961 Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations and is refusing to allow Russian experts to monitor the U.S. presidential election thus signaling Hillary Clinton and President Obama's attempt to steal it, and who, after this meeting, then promptly ordered the Federation's military forces to protect, defend Donald Trump at all costs, as this American billionaire is now all that stands between peace and World War III. According to this report, the 1961 Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations is the world's keystone international agreement to ensure the honesty and transparency of elections, and that during this past year alone was used to protect the 8th of November 2015 election in Miramar with 10,500 international observers, and in Russia itself were during the September parliamentary elections, 117 foreign observers were credited to monitor its voting, including 63 American diplomatic officials. With Federation diplomatic election experts preparing to travel to the United States to observe the honesty and transparency of that nation's November 8th presidential election, this report continues. The U.S. Department of State abruptly and without notice broke off all contact with the Central Elections Commission a few hours ago warning that if Russian diplomats even attempted to monitor this election, they would face immediate arrest. And leading CED director Vasily Likhachev to warn the Obama regime that the refusal to allow Russian diplomats to perform their direct duties is a demonstrative violation of the 1961 Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. Stunningly, this report notes the Obama regime refusal to allow their presidential election to be monitored by outside diplomats and their breaking all contact with the CED came just hours after Donald Trump warned the American people during a nationwide debate with Hillary Clinton that he may not accept the 8th November election results as he himself has learned how corrupt the United States has now actually become. With Donald Trump having previously threatened to have a special prosecutor investigate Hillary Clinton's many crimes once he becomes president, and by extension the Obama regime's covering up of them too, this report says America's entrenched elite oligarchy is now living the total complete fear as new and truthful polls being kept from the American people's knowledge show him on the cusp of winning this election and as evidenced by new data released, is the IBD-TIPP poll, the Rasmussen poll, and the Los Angeles Times daily tracking poll. The most terrifying thing to these American oligarchs protecting Hillary Clinton, this report continues, is the U.S. presidential election being a near mirror image counterpart of Britain's June 23rd Brexit referendum that the Western elites overwhelmingly predicted would fail, but who are all stunned into silence when they lost by an overwhelming vote kicking the nation out of the European Union. Like their British elite counterparts, this report explains the American oligarchs protecting Hillary Clinton are mistakenly and gravely believing that she can be elected by the overwhelming support of young voters. But as shown with astonishing clarity in the British Brexit vote, these young voters failed to materialize at the polls making Hillary Clinton's chances of receiving the young people's vote in this election even worse. This report continues are that the tens of millions of them who supported Bernie Sanders are now learning how shamefully the election against him was stolen by Clinton's elite supporters. With Hillary Clinton herself now revealed to have said these Sanders supporters were basement dwellers and her campaign chairman John Podesta even calling Sanders a doofus. So, 
dangerously insane have Hillary Clinton and her oligarchy supporters become in their fear of Donald Trump's impending victory? This report warns. WikiLeaks has revealed that the Clinton campaign was behind the posting on Craigslist of sex Trump ads. And even more astonishingly, new videos have surfaced proving that both Hillary Clinton and President Obama have been secretly orchestrating outright political violence against Donald Trump and his supporters. In President Putin's fearing that Hillary Clinton and the oligarchs supporting her, including the Obama regime itself, are capable of starting World War III to prevent Donald Trump from becoming president, this report says this morning he signed a decree authorizing Federation military nuclear forces to begin practicing to fire their atomic missiles against the Americans and their NATO allies and further authorized the largest deployment of Russian war ships since the end of the Cold War to end the war in Syria in the next fortnight. And to which the Western press is responding in their typical hip hypocritical way by publishing articles foolishly claiming that Iron Man Putin is ready to seize control of the Mediterranean Sea. Far from President Putin, or Russian for that matter, waiting to seize control of anything. This report concludes the Federation's only sole goal is to end the senseless slaughter in this made-up Clinton-Obama war that has gotten so crazy insane that U.S. ally Turkey is now bombing U.S.-backed Kurdish troops fighting ISIS. Belgian warplanes being guided by the U.S. are now bombing innocent civilians. The Obama regime is allowing ISIS terrorists to escape from Mosul instead of killing them, while U.S.-backed terrorists in Syria are shelling civilians trying to leave Aleppo during a ceasefire imposed by Russia. And to when this madness will all end, this report doesn't say. But if the Hillary Clinton supporting propaganda mainstream media is any indicator, it is no wonder that tens of millions of Russians are heading to their bomb shelters. But where are ours? More for this link below this video to this article. Please stay safe and peace be with you.